That heavy rain in California and the Pacific Northwest, Eric was just telling us about, is much needed. San Francisco had gone 43 straight days without rain until yesterday. But as Carter Evans reports, it comes with a heavy price in terms of flood and wind damage. This was a 90-foot pine tree in the Berkeley Hills east of San Francisco, blown down by powerful winds up to 50 miles an hour. Ken Renworth says his neighbors were lucky. When you went back there and looked at it, what did you think? Oh, it was incredible. I mean, it's a huge tree, and the roots failed. It's, it's scary. While Northern California got pounded with up to four inches of rain, the wind did the most damage, uprooting dozens of trees and bringing down power lines. Over the past 24 hours, more than a quarter million people were in the dark. Electricity was restored for most, but flights are still delayed in San Francisco. The National Weather Service didn't expect much snow from the storm, but the Squaw Valley ski area got 15 inches. It caught drivers like Hector Ochoa off guard. The weatherman had told us that there wasn't going to be any snow, so that's why we came totally unprepared. For many throughout the West, the massive storm was more than an inconvenience. In Brennan, Washington, west of Seattle, seven inches of rain caused the Duckabush River to overflow. At least eight people had to be rescued from their flooded homes. Wow, this is, this is more than we've ever seen. And there's more to come, which worries residents like Nicole Black. This is only the beginning of things getting worse. If this rain continues like it's projected to, everybody here needs to get out, and we need to make sure these banks don't fall. Another storm is expected to hit tomorrow morning, but California is in the midst of a historic drought, so they welcome the rain here. But, Jim, they just don't like to see it all at once. Carter Evans in San Francisco, thank you.